Tell me a story about social yeah. or public services in New York City. Yes, this Tell happened. Tell me what happened. This happened in 2008. I was homeless. I was sleeping uh, on the sidewalk um, near the West Side Highway. I think it was maybe 9th Avenue. Uh, it was on the sidewalk in front of a, a closed uh, building, a closed store. And I was woken up around 2.30 in the morning by two uh, guys from the morgue with a body bag. And uh, they said, oh, uh, we had somebody call in saying that there was a dead body here. No police, no ambulance, uh, no nothing. Just two guys from the morgue with a body bag that were quite surprised to see that I was quite very much alive. Oh. Were they happy or were they disappointed? Why did they have us come out here for this? <laughs> Basically, yeah, they were surprised, and they seemed like they were a little irritated that oh, uh, really? that I was alive and kicking. Yeah. Never come out to get you, Julia, a body bag. <laughs> uh, no, I resent body bags. I think it should all be done without any kind of, you know, hiding. hiding right. Right. Exactly. Yes. So you, a uh, stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> body bags are efficient, right? There was one time. Uh, this happened uh, in two thousand and. Um, was this last year? Yes, this was last year, 2000 and, um, uh, 5th, 2014, 2014, yeah. in uh, November. Uh, I had lost my wallet on the subway, and I got off at the 167th stop on the D train, quite hysterical, crying, um, and I went into a social service agency that was there, and uh, was crying hysterically, asked them to call the police. Yeah. Um, was too upset to even tell them why. Yeah. So they called the police, and a half hour later they called the police again. Just said there was a distraught woman asking for the police. Half hour later they called the police again. Police never arrived. Finally, I left on my own to see if I could find the police station. Ran into a cop uh, uh, standing on a street corner and asked him where the precinct was. He didn't know. He said it wasn't his district. He was just there for the day, and he didn't know where the police. You didn't dare was. be persistent. They <laughs> didn't dare say, "What do you mean you don't so know?" I ended up asking some strangers. Found the police precinct. Got yeah. there. Told them that you know I thought my wallet was stolen on the subway. Wanted to make a report, but I was also hysterical. Told them I was a psych patient, and I needed an ambulance. I needed to get checked out by psych. So they called the ambulance. Uh, this was now about an hour and a half after I first started requesting police assistance from 911. Um, they called an ambulance. Uh, after about 45 minutes, the ambulance never arrived. Uh, while I was supposed to be on psych watch at the police station, I just got up and walked out, and they never even noticed. Got myself home. Never even got to make the police report about a stolen wallet. God, thank God you weren't a terrorist. I know, right? <laughs>